Hey guys, how you doing? Ron here with Tech Tips To Go. So in today's video, we have a great piece of news and obviously it's VeChain. Uh, but before we get into the video, I'm just gonna give you a little update on the channel. So I'm gonna be doing some live streaming. So if you guys are in my free Telegram group, I already mentioned to you guys this morning. So it's uh, Saturday morning, you know, speaking to the guys over there like Juan, Alex and everyone else. Finn and everyone and we're just talking about uh, me going live so I'm gonna be actually going live pretty soon maybe in maybe about a week really depends on time like I said I've been kind of busy and um, it's been challenging kind of me creating content because when you create content you always got to find the the most relevant content that you think your subscribers will like and or instead of being so busy within you know our telegram group on YouTube creating content I just figured, you know what, I may as well go live and just have a discussion there. Especially, I think it'd be good when we get these VeChain pumps that we're sharing pumps or whatever pumps that, you know, whatever altcoins that we support. Because usually, like, I know when, like, VeChain is pumping. Because I'll step away, if I'll be doing something else for two hours, and I look at my phone and I've got, like, a thousand messages. I know VeChain's pumping. Because everyone's talking about support levels, it's peaking, we're running, etc. So, guys, just imagine, like, when we get into this bull run, how crazy it'll be. So I'm going to be doing lives, uh, hopefully maybe once every week. I don't know. It just really depends on my time. But I'll make sure to go live when one of our coins are pumping so we could all be in that channel. And also another thing is um, I'm going to be adding custom emojis and badges. So you guys pick the badges that you guys belong to. So this is for, like, memberships and so on but anyway so we got the vshare family so if you're into vchain and sharing we got the vshare so i've got this v with the vshare in it or if you're just sharing only you got your icon badge here if you're vchain maxi only great and if you're someone like moses in our group and you bag heavy then this is moses's he's a whale so anyways those are the emojis you guys can kind of um come up with emojis that you want or if you're looking for an emoji uh, let me know and I'll, I'll just create one so before we get into the piece of news let's go check out CoinGecko and see where VeChain's at let's just do a little refresh here and I think we are on the coin market cap I think we're roughly about 19 yeah we're at 19 so VeChain's 0 0.018 and I call this wrong after that AI conference because I know a lot of people were kind of you know expecting VeChain to go up to you know two plus and then you know they're expecting a lot of news so and we didn't get a lot of news that people were looking for I, but i still think a lot of big news is coming because there's still the rumors about mcdonald's or starbucks etc so right now i don't think people are selling and like i said it'd be, it'd be kind of foolish to sell because right now there's a lot of eyes there's a lot of retail investors a lot of institutional investors that are just pouring a lot of money into v chain like if you look at the market cap right now we're at 1.1 billion right and like i said we're not that far off. Like if we go to 15th place right here, it's only 1.3. All we need is a couple of million, right? So, you know, 200 million, 300 million, we could get to up to 1.3, get into 15th spot, and then we're going to get to 10th. You know, if we get to 10th, we'll probably be looking at around 4 to 5 cents, probably 6, maybe 6 cents, 5 cents. But anyways, we're at 0 0.018, and I called this wrong. I thought based on that AI news and if there's no partnerships like I expected or announcements, then we kind of level off. But like I said in my last video, if you watch my last video and you and you watch the, the Deloitte rep talk about VeChain and the partnerships with DNVGL, it's like a clear signal that they ha that like they are working on so much. It's just unbelievable. So. And that's why, like I said, I don't like to touch my money bags. And for me, you know, VeChain is still a long-term hold, a hodl, a hold. I don't like day trading. I don't like swing trading with VeChain. Um, you just don't want to get wrecked, right? I've heard a lot of people, they like lose 3,000 because they're trying to time everything properly. But sometimes it doesn't work out in your favor. Everyone makes mistakes, right? There's some days where you're just like, man, this sucks. But you got to like swallow it. Right, you gotta like move on. You lose three thousand, lose five thousand, whatever. Move on, right? But that's why I just like to huddle, buy in, huddle, huddle from day one, and then long term, right? So, and that's my strategy, like going forward and not going forward, but just in general. When I talk to anyone, if I talk to a close family member, like my brother or something like that, I'll just say, look long term, huddle and hold. Don't day trade. 
you'll save yourself like a lot of stress. You'll be able to sleep better and so on. So anyways, let's get into the piece of news here. So I tweeted on this. Um, shout out to News Logic. Let's get into the article. So $4.627 billion in revenue Intercontinental Hotel Group is using VChain, VAD, and VGL, which is bullish. Wow. So in the article, some descriptions and some points is that an international hotel, Intercontinental Hotel Group, with $4.627 billion revenue in 2019 and 5,656 hotels in 100 countries is now using VeChain blockchain technology, VAD and VGL MyCare tool to issue a hotel industry standard public health protection certificate to its guests and workers. The Guan Gaming Daily, the official state mouthpiece of the Chinese government said in the report. So here it is, the certification is to ensure the security of life and prevention of the spread of diseases, especially during the COVID-19 pandemic period. And if you take a look back at the video that I made like about I'd say around three weeks ago, I said VeChain is going to run into some issues. And it's good issues for us investors because they're going to be really busy. Because right now, like I said, and like I mentioned, right now everyone's concern is how do we get back to pre-COVID? How do we get back to normal life? How do we get back to travel? How do we get back to people spending money so we can rebuild the economy? Right now, the largest, largest people, largest countries that are getting hit is like the U.S., U.S. is getting hit bad. They're having like a second phase of COVID, you know, in certain states like Florida and Texas, right? And there's also like with agriculture and food, especially I think there was a large manufacturing plant in the U.S. and one in Canada that got affected with, with COVID. So I think one of the plants in the U.S. had to shut down, right? So that's going to affect prices. It's going to affect workers, all the people on the farms. Like right now in Windsor, in Windsor, Ontario, they import a lot of workers, um, foreign workers in agriculture and planting to work i think over like fifty thousand, and they're having a lot of cases there i think 80 70 to 80 percent of the cases right now in ontario are based in windsor because of those agriculture plants and when it comes to dnvgl and my care and this is the reason why like i said it from the beginning if dnvgl wasn't a partner with v chain i'd kind of say well maybe i'm not ready to invest into them but because they do and because we have pwc dnvgl and deloitte uh, it just it makes this coin a no-brainer to purchase, right? You come into my group, everyone that is in, in our group holds VeChain. Like 100% of the people like hold VeChain. It's without a doubt one of the coins where, like I said, you could explain it to your grandmother. You could sell it to anyone and it just makes sense. Being in the supply chain, logistics, traceability, uh, it, like I said, it's a no-brainer. And then in my last video or my video that I posted two, three weeks ago, I said, you know, VeChain and DNVGL are going to be very busy because DNV, DNVGL, they deal with like risk assessment, ISO standards. And imagine, you know, VeChain's feet on the street and what PwC and Deloitte and DNVGL are doing. They're probably giving VeChain a run for the money. I'm, I'm pretty sure, you know, they're going from like 100 employees to 150 to 200 employees like I'm pretty sure the amount of work is challenging to say the least. And if, and like I mentioned in that AI conference that was a couple of days ago, you could hear Deloitte having all these NDAs and a lot of projects that they're working with DNVGL because DNVGL is issuing these My Cares and these My Stories, but Deloitte is being like that partner on the technology side and the, for solutions. Same with PwC. So, Anyways, so this is very similar to, you know, probably like the last three or four pieces of news that I, that I covered over with VeChain. So the first one that we had, like with digital passports, right, with Viking, it was Viking Cruise Lines. And I said that this is going to be huge, right, because everyone needs to get this intact, especially for the workers that are going to work. And I can see this expanding into different groups into, well, obviously it's in uh, the hospitality sector because this is in hotel, probably spin out to restaurants any employment and also last week or this week it was a seller mito right and like i said like we do work for a seller mito or we did work for a seller mito and they're a huge global uh, company so they're going the necessary steps to make sure that all of their employees have the my care solution and with this my care tool like i said when you look at an altcoin to invest into you look at a lot of fun fundamentals, right? You look at maybe a couple, you know, four or five fundamentals. The management team, the funding or the cash flow, the utility, the usage, and some of the references like partners, right? 
you kind of ask yourself, well, does VeChain have partners? Has their main net been tested and proven out there in real life cases? And yes, 100%. You look at this and them going forward, and especially with DNVGL selling this, it'll be so easy. Now, if we look at IHG's brand and their website, look at this, 5,895 open hotels, 1,900 pipeline hotels, over close to 900,000, close to a million open rooms, 288,000 pipeline rooms. Now, let's look at their brands. And for those of you who commented months ago about VeChain not being able to reach a dollar, VeChain's a scam coin, you know, no one's going to invest into a Chinese scam coin. Well, guys, like, they're global, right? And sorry to rub it in, but this one's for you guys. So look at this. Holiday Inn, Holiday Inn Express, right? These are all hotels, major hotels that we all know about. Crown Plaza, Regent, Intercontinental Hotels and Resorts, Hotel Indigo, right? Six Senses. But anyways, that is it for the video. You know, right now, 0.018. Uh, I kind of made a, a different call. I thought we were going to get down to 0 0.015. I think we dipped down to close to 0 0.015. I think Lyle in our group mentioned that uh, we dipped down to 0 0.015. He was able to bag a lot, but I missed it because I didn't put any um, put any buy orders in, which I should have. Because I think, you know, buying at 0 0.015, right now we're hovering at 0 0.018. Will we get to two cents? Probably. I think next week we're going to get to probably above two cents. And guys, we're still waiting for those two pieces of news, even probably three pieces of news, right? Coinbase listing. So no one really wants to sell. Everyone's holding, holding on strong, which is good because their support levels are probably about 016, 017. And why would you sell when there's a Coinbase, Coinbase listing? Well, you could be doing day trading and that's up to you. But for me, I just rather do like a long-term huddle. We've got Coinbase, we have PayPal. And then that second or third piece of news, which whether it's Starbucks or McDonald's, um, that piece of news that we're all waiting for. So that large piece of news. So anyways, that is it. If you want to um, talk about that third piece of news, join our group. We're all kind of like speculating. It might be this, might be that. So we've got a free group. I'm going to leave the link above here and I'll see you guys tomorrow.